guys welcome to my channel the ultimate survivor this is the channel where we take you through africa all around africa showing you stuff the coolest stuff that you find in africa we talk about nature we talk about tourism we talk about everything that you want to learn is um well is uh, the wildlife of africa so this is the beautiful channel that uh, has got uh, a number of videos that we're teaching you about conservation and nature, teaching you about uh, the mammals of Africa, teaching you things that happen in Africa. So please, if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing to the channel and activating the notification bell so that when you drop a new video, you are notified. So in today's episode, we are talking about the order Lagomorpha, the order Lagomorpha. That's where we have the family Liporidae, the family Liporidae, where we have the hares and the rabbits. This is the family that includes the hares and the rabbits. These hares and rabbits are actually found in the world. And the very good example that we're going to talk about is the scrub hair. The scrub hair, we normally see it with the big, long ears. And uh, most of the times, these animals are nocturnal. They move around at night. So these animals feed on the grass, the rhizomes of the grasses, and other small things like the forbs and stuff. They feed on the vegetation. These animals uh, give birth to two to three young ones in a gestation period of about 43 days, and they can live up to eight years. These are the scrub hares. So in Africa, we've got uh, almost eight species of the uh, scrub hares, almost eight species of the scrub hares. These animals actually weigh up to an average of 2.4 uh, kg. These are the males and then 2.4 to 1 kg for the females. That shows that the females are slightly larger than the males. So these animals are actually like that. Beautiful animals to watch when they jump around, especially if you have uh, what you call the TV for the headlight at night, so then you can see them doing all their things. That's in the world. But you can go to the places where they keep them, in the zoos and in captivity, but then you can see them in the afternoon. Beautiful and clever animals, the hairs that we know. Another order, this is the order Hycoridae. The order Hycoridae, that's where we find the family Procavidae. The family Procavidae, where we have the hyraxes and uh, the daisies. The hyraxes and the daisies. This is the family Procavidae. These are hyraxes and uh, daisies. We have got uh, almost three species. We have uh, what we call the rock daisies the tree daisies and the spotted, uh, the yellow spotted daisies. So these are the three species that we have in Africa, especially in Southern Africa. So the family Procavidae, as I say, that is the daisies and uh, the uh, hyraxes, of which are the scientific name of the Procavia capensis, and their diet is all the green stuff. The, the um, grasses, uh, the rhizomes, they feed on uh, any leaves, they feed on the flowers of stuff, as well as the flowers that are much fragrant and are those that are poisonous to other animals, like the flowers of the euphorbia, but their favorite diet. These are the daisies and the hyraxes, very cute animals that are found, especially on the rocks. If you go to the rocks, you can find what you call the rock daisies. So these animals gave birth uh, to about uh, two to three young ones after gestation period of about seven months. It's about seven months and they weigh up to 4.5 kgs, that's 4.5 kgs for the males and they're three and a half kgs for the females, showing that the males are slightly larger than the females. And these are daisies give birth in the month of December to February. That's still the wetter month where we have the green grass or the fresh stuff that they can feed on and that's where they can find shelter. Their longevity, they can live up to 12 years that's in the wild. So please, if you are making sense and if you are talking stuff that you love, please don't forget to leave the thumbs up and like on our videos and also please don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you actually know whenever we drop a new video. So during subscription, activate the bell, the, the bell icon that you see there so that when we drop a video, you are notified. So another order that we're going to talk about today is the order Proposite, the order Proposite. Or the Proposite, that's where we have the family Elephantidae. Of course, Elephantidae, actually the name tells it all. That means we are talking about the elephant. And here in Africa, we've got uh, the largest elephant in the world. This is the Loxodonta africana. 
love so donta africana this is the elephant that you find in africa very cute uh, animal and very cute elephant with big ears and uh, the name Loxodonta africana or african elephant comes is derived from an ear the elephant ear that looks like an african map if you cut it from the head just cut it from the head and you hold it like this it looks like an african map so that's the name the african elephant Loxodonta africana well, this uh, African elephant feeds on anything that they find, any vegetation that they find, be it the leaves, they feed on the barks and the cambium of the trees, they feed on the poles, the seeds, they feed on anything and uh, they can actually pick some small stuff, some small seeds using their uh, modified tip right at the, and the tip of the trunk. They can pick anything and they can feed on anything. So whatever plant material that you want to see, go to an elephant poop. That's when you can find it. And uh, we have seen some uh, elephant babies feeding on other elephant species. That means they can uh, actually chew that fish and get some nutrients from the elephant feces because sometimes the elephants actually defecate the feces that are not all that much di digested so they actually feed on that and that term or that uh, practice is called the coprophagy the coprophagy that's when the animals will feed on other animal species so the males can weigh up to like five to six tons and the females can weigh up to three to four tons that shows that the males are larger than the females and these are big animals of course so they give birth to one calf uh, after a gestation period of about 22 months 22 months gestation period and giving birth to one calf these are the elephants and they can live up to 60 to 70 years that's in the world sometimes you've seen that uh, in the captivity they can live up to 100 years so these are the african elephants the Loxodonta africana. So with the elephants, there is no peak uh, season for uh, reproduction. They can give birth to their young ones anytime. That's all year round. That's all year round. These animals are large. When they are drinking, they drink like large sums of water. Sometimes if it, they get into the small pool, they drink, then they do what we call the wallowing, of which sometimes they will destroy those pools. So these animals could be destructive sometimes and also like when it comes to vegetation, when we have drought, we've seen some elephants destroying the vegetation and actually like finishing the food for the other animals. So yes, for today we are going to stop here. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to activate the notification bell. When you do that, we will actually notify you when there's a new video that is coming away. So this is just the beginning of this journey guys. We're still going on and on. There's so many uh, orders and families that we're gonna cover. So please press up and be with us all the way and make sure that when you watch our videos, you give us uh, you give us the thumbs up. Don't forget to like our videos. If you do so, you are helping our channel much. And if you have anything in mind that you want us to discuss about, and if you have any questions or any contributions, please don't forget to go down into the comment box and leave your comment there. I'll make sure that I'll reply to each and every comment. And uh, for those who love to actually go through and uh, learn what we just uh, talked about, go to our description box. I'll put all these other orders into under the I mean in the description box so that you can read for yourselves because some of these names are difficult to pronounce you won't understand when i pronounce them so you go into the description box and see for yourself okay so guys until the next one we will be talking about the ungulates this is a new uh, order or the new types of the animals the ungulates so if you want to know what are ungulates please make sure to watch our next video that we'll be talking about the ungulates there are so many orders and so many families that falls under the ungulates so please from me the ultimate survivor i say love you